Right, hello everyone. First edition gym challenge box. Just gonna show the edges. So completely sealed. First edition gym challenge. We're gonna break the box. And we're going to sell the packs out as unweighed packs. Um, we are using uh, these void seals, so they're going to go in these packs and then tamper proof seal on top of the seal so we can't open them. And then you can see, let's see if the camera can focus. So you see where it says void there? That's where if you lift it, the whole label will say void and um, so if I show you a sec so it's clear at the moment if we peel it up put it back down now the whole thing says void so you'll know if it's been reopened these are unique numbers so that 251529 um, would be unique to this pack this is obviously Team Rocket but all of the challenge packs will be in this and you'll be able to see each one as I'll record it. Right. So Okay. Right. Okay. First edition packs. One, two, three, four, five, nine, ten. packs we are going to list these packs at 200 pounds each and it is a genuine box break completely unweighed so let's kick this off let's put the pack in here let's even put it the right way around The um, big labels also do the same as the little silver ones. There we go. So that's now a tamper proof pack, and the eBay listing will have this code on. So um, if you want that pack, um, that's the one to go for on the eBay listing. So I'm just going to do that now. Frugal 36. Don't know how long this is going to take. Okay. 
Let me get that. If anyone's thinking of wanting to PSA grade these, this will be the um, best way of getting your nines and tens. I think mostly you get nines and tens from box breaks. I don't know if anyone's got any lower than that. But you shouldn't do really. This one's going to be And the other thing I've noticed recently is resealed packs, and they are getting more and more. I did get one Sky Ridge pack the other day off an eBay seller, and it was a repack. And it took me about 30 days to get the money back, but luckily I did notice it was quite a good repack. So you just never know these days if people, people know what they're doing. They can disguise it very well, and that's why uh, buying outside of outside of box breaks, it's quite hard to tell one what weights are. Some people might say heavy, but they're not, um, because that box in general was just heavy. Um, and then in other times, it could well be a resale. You just you just don't know. I'm trying to keep it on camera to show that I'm not swapping them, but hopefully you guys, hopefully you got you guys can see I'm not. These are the packs out of the box. Going into these. Camera doesn't focus very well on them, but hopefully you can see that. A bit messy. See that these numbers are unique, they're only printed once. So well, one thing I have forgotten to do, I'm gonna quickly do now is just quickly get a picture for eBay. Let's 
Oh, yeah, I'm gonna reach out, look. Two sets, guys. Sorry about that, completely forgot to do that one at the beginning. But they're not going to look as good in their things once we're done, so get that picture in first. Was um, this number. Looks like it focuses better like that, so maybe I'll do that in the future. Bit of science, but not too sure what to say. I'm not a YouTuber. There you go, it's enough in the camera. Professionalism. There you go. If someone is after all art artworks, I'll probably do a slight discount. Um, Trying to, trying to keep this all on camera, but I can't really see the screen, so I might be taking them off a little bit sometimes, so I'll try and keep it on camera for you guys.
don't know how much longer we'll be able to break boxes and um, or warrant breaking boxes because it's getting harder and harder now to to warrant breaking a box because people aren't willing to pay the price of the packs obviously inside because now the box is holding so much value um, to be kept sealed especially as more and more of these types of things go on you know I think this box very soon uh, it's give it a year and it could be well worth 10,000 and you know then and the packs are going to be either way more expensive or like like the rest of the boxes where you just can't can't do a box break anymore so i think they will become a thing of the past some of the bigger youtubers will probably carry on doing them because also their followers are, are willing to spend a bit more on the packs to um so they can see see a box break happening um but yeah it's one of those things at the moment that it's very very rare that you find a box that you can you can break and um be worth it for everyone and so with if ebay's if i didn't have one ebay's max pound listing fee this wouldn't be this wouldn't be worth it for me Not sure if I showed you that one's um, number, so I'll show it again. Yeah, base set first edition is. Um, it's one of those boxes you can actually still break for and make and make your um your money back on still. Um seriously undervalued really. Um seeing as you know people are paying upwards of like two one thousand, two thousand pound a pack. You know, they're buying them for they're buying at sixty K sort of thing. There's still quite a lot of margin left on those boxes, but obviously you've got to have the 60k to spend. It'd be cool to do one of them, but I think it's a bit far out of my reach, unfortunately. I think I'm keeping that more in the shop now, so that's good. But yeah, I'll show the order, the number. That's that one. Yeah, I think this is the first first challenge box I've seen come up in a long time. And um Yeah, I just had to had to jump on it. I, I really we wanted to do a box break for, for a long time now. And finally managed it. I'd like to sell more sealed stuff in general, but uh it's not the easiest stuff to get your hands on. But um I also collect it. I've got a um, first edition team rocket box. So we've also got a jungle box off the same seller, actually. And we did have Jim uh, Jim Heroes, and I did debate picking it up. 
I'd already spent eight, so it was a bit like a uh, hold, hold fire. sure how long this video is going to take but we'll get there Yeah, people have been saying for me to put it all sorts of different pricing, but um, you know, I think I think two hundred's fair. The um, some people were saying you know that you could get two fifty. Um, it probably is. You probably could get that, but so I saw some uh, heroes heavy packs selling for. 230 so obviously these aren't heavy well some some of them will be heavy um they're not labeled as heavy they're all unweighed um so they haven't got that heavy premium uh however they are challenged and not heroes so people going for that charizard have a much better chance well 100% chance over buying a Heroes one because Charizard's not in there. But yeah, just show a pack close. So these are obviously box fresh, mint condition. Yeah, can't get much better. Yeah, it was one of those things I debated. I debated keeping, keeping the box because I know in a year's time this is going to be worth more than what I'm selling it for now. Um, you know, it's just the way all sealed products going at the moment. It's just one of them that uh, is a seal on that one. Oh, yeah. A bit lower. Um, you know, all sealed stuff is flying crazy in challenge boxes and heroes boxes, gym, gym boxes in general. Um, they don't come up very often. This one, isn't it? Yeah. That one is a bit loose, um, but you know you still can't get it without lifting the um, without lifting the seal, so the seal would would say void. Um, so it's just I've, I've done that a bit a bit looser than the others. I could definitely, I could definitely have just held on to the box and, and probably done better. But I really wanted to do a box break. I've been wanting to do one for ages, and um, you know, the opportunity came. But gym sets are are one of my favourite sets in in the uh, Wizards of the Coast. Probably I do like. I don't know why, but Team Rocket is what is my favourite set. Uh, I've already got got myself one of those boxes anyway. And um, yeah, Jim was. I thought it would be a cool one to crack, especially as you just don't don't see it, especially in the UK. Like there is um, there is a box break over in the US as well. Um, so same pricing. I basically used his pricing because that's what I thought was was fair for everyone saying roughly around two hundred, two fifty, and someone in the US selling at two hundred. I thought, well, that's the place to be but yeah so you just you just don't really see them it's in the UK you just yeah box breaks are 
incredibly rare and for for challenge I, I don't know the last one that was done um it have been a very long time ago probably maybe a year and a half obviously we don't know what's behind closed doors someone may know someone who's done one maybe just on facebook or instagram um but they don't look a bit lower But yeah, as far as um, public public box breaks, not very common. Well, it's one of those things when you're a collector, you sort of stuff like this that you don't see. You sort of just don't want to don't want to sell it. At the same time, especially with the uh, crisis at the moment going on, you do, you need a cash flow. So, for me to have held on to this, um, you know, they meant sacrificing other things as well, which I would have been willing to do, but as I say, I did want to do a box break on, on eBay. Um, I will um, be posting these probably on Facebook as well. Um, name's Ollie Stote, uh, S T O A T E. Um, so I will be posting them up on there as well. Um, so they may not all sell on eBay. So if you don't see a sold history, it's because it's probably probably sold on Facebook and I've just taken the listing down. But I don't use Instagram. Barely use Facebook. That one's a bit. Fold that over. But you know, even if it is loose, um, you know, I can't lift this without that void, that void appearing. Once these are on, they're on. And so they are unique codes. So there, at least there isn't a second one of this code. So I can't unpack it switch it out and put a different one on because it would be a different code because that's the only ones that exist. Yeah, you can probably tell I'm, I'm not, not a YouTuber or a videoer but um, I don't know, I can't also do silence for too long. Almost that. I think I'll have to get into flash these codes, but I think you can see them on the mat anyway. Yeah, I forgot to, um, I don't have any actual pack sleeves, um, but we do have these, so they basically do the same, well, they do do the same thing, they're the exact same other than they've got a hanger on them, um, so I don't know, if you ever wanted to hang them, it comes with hanger, well, it comes with the ability to hang.
always got that sudden thing of oh is it recording but we think we're still good so that would be your bugger Trying to keep them in the shop. I didn't security tag that one. Very silent. Almost there. I'm going to quickly, once we've done these, just quickly to make sure I didn't forget any other ones I don't think I did. Because I forgot that one earlier. I just want to check. Make sure they are all security tagged. You know, if you guys want more, more box breaks, um, you can always let me know um, down in the description or send me a message of what you'd be willing to pay for each set. Um, because yeah, I'd like, I would like to do more, but it's just you know, when, when you've got when you've got the jungle. Yeah, so for instance, yeah, I got that that jungle box for. The three thousand, and um, yeah, if I was to break that, you'd be looking at a severe loss from people. I don't know what their what current market is for them. Probably fifteen, maybe sixty pounds a pack.
you know, it's, it's, a, bit, it's a big loss. Because, yeah, what is it? It's, um, yeah, it's £2,160, the, um, the packs would be. So you're, um, yeah, you're looking at basically a thousand pound loss after fees and postage and everything. Um, so no one's gonna, no one's gonna break a box doing that. Um, you know, box breaks do have a premium, but I don't think enough of a premium to that's unlimited. Obviously, first edition stuff um, carries a bit more weight to it. I don't even know what a jungle box would be now, probably five, six thousand at least I'd have thought. I haven't seen one in the UK for a very long time. Right, um right, I'm just gonna quickly check these packs. I might put them in artwork order. Let's do that. Count how many um, artwork sets I've got. I know quite a few of you have messaged me about full artworks, so um, yeah, I get that. I'll see how many of them I've got. Yeah, it doesn't look like I missed any other ones. So yeah, we've got uh, we've got eight um, full sets and then a few a few singles. So um, yeah, there we go. That's that, guys. Um, I will get them posted up on eBay. Um, yeah, each code that's on the pack will get posted. Um, and uh, yeah, just quickly, if I just I'll show you exactly what. So we take. That off. Pretend there's a pack in here. If one was opened up, this is what would happen. So, keep it clear. Move on with it. Now we're gonna peer back. And you can see void on the back and the front. This is void, and this should also do the same. So clear and pair it. If we can pair it, are you guys gonna have fun getting into this? Let's try. You can see it's doing the same thing, just the top there. And I think I have a camera focus on it. Can't really see it on the camera very well. It does say 
Oh, no, it's not picking it up. Um, but the gold bit should show up clearly on the camera, hopefully. You can see it does it there. And then, just take the whole bit off. Perfect. You can sort of see it. But in person, it's a lot clearer anyway. This doesn't really pick it up, but it does say void. But anyway, the um, the silver ones are much more obvious. They, well, we can see it on the camera. They void all the way through it, and they're on all of them as well. So um, that is that. Right, guys, thank you very much, and uh, yeah, we'll be on eBay soon. Cheers, bye.